Hello, so I have something pretty cool to show off today, which is Android 4.0.3 installed on a netbook. This is an MSI Wind, and what you, you do is download um, builds that are specific for the type of device that you're using. And I downloaded um, one for, it was for Asus um, laptops and netbooks, and obviously it's not a, an Asus however it still worked so it's USB bootable the process is on this laptop using just Windows 7 starter which is what it normally runs I downloaded the build from I just did a Google search for Android x86 and there's an Android x86.org which has all the builds you also need another application called UNet Bootin um, downloading both of those and then running UNet Bootin and following the instructions, rebooting and then loading or launching from the USB drive. So, ice cream sandwich on the netbook. I've installed some apps just on the desktop here. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. If we go up to the app drawer, um, single taps, the, one of the interesting things is just getting used to not using touch so if we have the first page here and we want to swipe the way I figured out how to do this is just hold down the left click key and swipe the touchpad to the right I'll show you how to do that and we'll go back Oops, okay let's try that again hold down the left click key and swipe to the left and we go back to the original screen so that's pretty cool if we want to put something onto the desktop, so just say we wanted to put a um, calculator onto the desktop, then we left click on it and hold, left click and hold, and then it shows us the home screen and we can just position it and then let go of the left click. So it's pretty cool. I wondered if it would work with um, the webcam up the top there and going into the camera app seemed like the logical place to go but just getting a message like this at the moment or a screen like this I'm not sure how to change it to the internal view but I'll get around to that and have a look at it now normally if you're in an app in Android and you want to get out of it you press the home key um, the shortcut for a netbook is just ESC so we get back to home and as you can see I have a widget installed and, and that seems to work fine and I also wondered whether it would access the music on the hard drive of the netbook going into the music app we can see that there's nothing there although there's a fair bit of music on this um, netbook so there you go that's a basic look at Android x86 on a netbook